hi guys my name is destiny and welcome back to another video in the channel so in this one we're gonna go ahead and start working with creating ck editor in django we'll be using django ck editor 5 and we'll be extending our text field models to actually use the ck editor and display a nice good looking editor that will help us add some life and functionality to our text our content on our descriptions that is all we're doing in this video i hope you will enjoy the video then make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as you really mean the world to me. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the very first thing I will do will be to open up my code editor. And remember in the last one, we just created all the models that we will be using. And I will zoom this in to make sure that everyone can see what's going on. I will then go ahead and spin up my server, py manage py run server. And that should be running on port 8000. So our server is running on port 8000. We just need to open up our development server and I will open up the admin and log in with my details. Okay, that seems not to be logging in. Let me log in with another information. And there you go. So now I will open up hotels and I will open up one of those hotels over here. And as you can see right now, this is how the description looks. Just very basic. We need to go ahead and install Hi hyphen m pip install django ck editor 5 so we need to import install this package and since i already have it installed on my system it should show requirements already satisfied now yours should install successfully and after it's done installing you want to come over to hms prj come over to settings py and you want to go ahead and install it here so Django CK Editor 5, this is how you want to install it. Just type this out in the installed app section. And after you've done this, that's about it. That's pretty much what you want to do. Now we need to go ahead and import this in our hotel models. So all you need to do is open up hotel, open up models PY. So in your hotel models PY, we need to firstly import the CK Editor field. How do we do this? I will scroll all the way to the top and I will say from Django CK editor five dot fields or oh, that should be dot fields. I want to import the CK editor five field. Now with this CK editor five field, all you need to do is just go ahead and inherit from this in whatever field that you need. So in the description field, I will remove models dot text field and replace it with ck editor 5 field okay and just one thing that you want to add is config name so the config name should be the will pass in extends okay now after you've done this just make sure that your code is running perfectly well then you want to run pi manage py pi manage py make migrations because you made some changes to the models and again, you want to run py manage py migrate. And there you go. So now let's visit this page and reload. Okay, it says reverse for CK editor 5 upload file is not a valid view function or pattern name. So we need to go ahead and install that in the HMS PRJ URLs PY. What you want to do is quite easy. Just down here, you could put in the comments for CK editor and I will add in path and pass in CK editor. So you want to use this exact name, CK editor five, then add in a slash. And over here, we want to go ahead and include the package. So the package is called Django. Let me actually check again in the settings PY. This is the package. So we want to call the package, then call the URLs file. So each package in Django, we definitely have a URL file depending on how it was written. Just like we did over here for the user auth app and the URLs, we call the app over here, Django CK Editor 5, and we call the URLs. Let's reload this page. And now what do you notice? As you can see, we have a nice looking CK Editor. It's modern, it's interactive. It's not like the old CK Editor 4, it's the latest one, CK Editor 5. As you can see now, when we type things in here, we can go ahead and make changes, but you can't see anything because of the team that we are using. So if you're using the default white team, this one over here, you see, when we type something like hello, we can actually hello there. 
we can now make this one bold we can make this one italic okay so that's it now the final thing that we will do is extend some other functionalities over here now you can check out ck editor as you can see we've got their link over here you can go ahead open up ck editor then you could go through their configuration files to tweak it the way you want but i have already have a snippet for you guys so you don't need to um waste a lot of time on this you don't need to struggle much about it i will go ahead and grab the snippet paste it here then i'll show you guys how to add it in the settings py there you go as you can see now i have the snippet showing up here so this snippet for those custom color palettes this one is pretty much for the colors that you want to use in things like um let me look at that real quick so in things like the border colors the background colors for tables for text and things like that this is where you should define the colors that you want to show up so i will grab everything that we have over here and come over to settings py just paste it below all the other codes okay and after pasting this here you can go through it one after the other it's quite a lot of configurations as you can see for the toolbar i'm adding heading bold italic link bulleted list there is just a lot of things that you could do okay so over here i've provided you guys with everything it's now left you to unlink or uncomment the ones that you want and actually comment out the ones that you don't want and um, actually make it look the way you want okay so i also recommend you go through their document documentation and choose what you want customize it to the way you want it to be and definitely it should work out for you so after pasting that in i will get back here and reload this page and now what do you notice we have a more robust ck editor just like i said initially this is nice this is modern it works perfectly well for all my projects and i also recommend that you should use it so as you can see we can make this bold we can make this italic we can now on the line we can also go ahead and highlight if the need be you can add in your images i can add in an image as you can see you can add in tables you could you could check out the source code and do a whole lot of cool things so i think you guys um that will be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new in this one we just created the ck editor and extended the description field in the hotels that will be it for this video i hope to see you in the next one do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as to really mean the world to me check out the courses in the description below one of them should help you become a pro django developer and i'll see the next video my love peace out